Hello, hello. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome to the platform. Let's get it. So, if somebody buy you something, an ex buy you something like a dog or clothes or a bag, and you're in the next relationship, will you give it back or keep it? Honestly, I wouldn't want it, so I would give it back. Like, I don't do materialistic stuff, so I give it back respectfully. And I I thank them, though. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's right, see. right. Yeah. Do you ask me your stuff back or you tell them to keep it? I'm just telling to keep it. Don't even, don't even keep it. Thank you, though. Right, right. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. What if it's like a, a puppy or whatever? Would you still tell keep it? Would you yeah, still? yeah. I'm going to tell them to keep it. Yeah, because I feel like you not being with me and then you giving me gifts, there's something behind that. I don't know. I just think, like, why would you want to do all that when you know I'm taking? Like, that's that's different. Right, right. <laughs> okay, okay. So you got to give your stuff back at the breakup. That's cool. What What about money, though? Would you expect money you back, too? Huh? Or you get rid of it. Right. <laughs> right. What about money, though? Would you expect money back that you that you gave a guy in a relationship that you no longer with? No, because if I ever gave you something, like, to help you in any way, you can keep it. Like, it was for you. So I'm not going to say, oh, remember that cash I bought stuff for them sneakers? Send that back. No, nah, you good. I don't think, I don't take money. That's like Indian giving. I don't really, money, no. You can have it. You can keep it. Because the money find me everywhere I go. So I ain't stressing it. Right. Facts, 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 facts. Money comes and goes though too, by the way. So Yeah. I mean, it ain't it ain't too too of a big deal to, uh for sure, for sure. I mean, I'm going I'm going that down, yeah. Okay. Uh wh why you think why you think females usually uh break up with the guy first? I feel like it depends, honestly, because, like we leave relationships mentally before we leave them physically. So if I'm already fed up and I'm trying to like find an exit plan, you better pray out. You you do better before I leave. And I feel like honestly, no time to waste anymore. So why would I want to sit around, still giving you energy and time when somebody else can be giving me everything I deserve? Respectfully. Right. What's your thoughts on that saying? Uh, you can't put all your eggs in one basket in a relationship. Do you agree or disagree with that? I used to be like, oh, oh once I like you, I like you. But now I'm like, date them all. <laughs> date them all. Vibe with them all. You never know. Because this one you think is cool, he's going to be inconsistent tomorrow. And then you have to go start over all over again. You might as well, you know, spread yourself a little bit. But that doesn't mean having sex. That means dating, experiencing energy, experiencing a vibe. People think, like, you say, oh, I'm going out. It means you're touching everything you touch. Like, you're vibing with. No, I'm literally going to dinner, going to the movie, sitting down at the park having conversations you should definitely do that because y'all single and no one you don't owe no one anything honestly live your life heavy live your life yeah i mean i, I hear what you're saying though but you know for the most part i don't know if you're just saying that because you're on the platform you're just trying to tell me what i want to hear mm -hmm. but for the most part women are having sex with multiple guys and they're going on dates with that guy two or three guys at a time for the most part and using two other guys for free meals and attention no, I'm saying what I mean. I don't need to and perform for social media. I don't even do this. I honestly deleted the app last night. <laughs> yeah. But um, honestly, like I said, I feel like you should do what you need to do regardless. But I feel like y'all also, men think they own a woman's vagina. How you know what she's doing with it? And just because you assume, just because the last person you've been with is having sex with everybody in the streets, that means the new chick is. Nah. But we know how to, like, conversate with men, spend time with them, and get an enjoyment without having sex. It's not that hard. Trust me. No, no. More women are sexually active than men right now, currently. That's what not all women, but a lot of women are. Uh, yeah, so, you know, what, what's the difference between attention and respect? What's your definition? Attention is from most... I feel like everyone deserves respect, but it's also given once you give it respectfully. And then also, I feel like Attention means you want everyone to look at you, everyone to hear you, everyone to see you. You crave it. There's a difference. I don't need, yeah, no. But hey, you crave attention from all people. And sometimes you're not getting it from who you with. So you go outside of the relationship, social media, FaceTimes, whatever y'all doing, Snapchat, just to get a little gas, you know? So, have, have you ever caught yourself in that trying to get attention from somebody else emotionally cheated? Have I ever said that again? 
Have you ever caught yourself trying to get attention, attention from somebody else emotionally cheating? No, nah, because I'm a communicator, so I be trying to tell my person like, if you're not doing it right, I'm gonna leave. I'm happy to clean. I'm good to leave. I don't stay in shit I don't belong in. Mm, really okay. Don't. Right, right. Because a lot of females do emotional cheating, like going through email, yeah, email a guy or Snapchat a guy or whatever. So it's you ever done that before? No. Uh, okay. See, we don't really. Mm -mm. I'm hard to get, so it's not even gonna be that easy to talk to me. But it sound good. Right. You said it sound good. It sound good. It sound okay. good. Right. But I know people right. have, have done that and they regret it, or they feel like, okay, well, I like if you know you're stuck in something you don't want to be in, leave. No one's forcing you to say, I don't care, marriage, none of that. Get out of it, respectfully. Yeah. Mm -mm. There's too much. We don't have long lives for real, so wasting time with someone who don't want me, I'm not about to look stupid for you. I'm going to go ahead and handle my business out elsewhere. Right. How old are you? 26. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, okay, got the low cut, G.I. Jane. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Okay, right, right. Uh. For sure, for sure. You feel like for the most part, they do that to seek attention from the guy that they want? Or someone they probably wanted but couldn't get until they got taken. You know, because people love when you take it. They love to try it when you're in a relationship, just to see. Okay, right, right. You, that, believe you, real. you said what? People find thrilling in that. Like, oh, you with somebody now, let me see if I can grab you now. Like, that's not cute. And mm. when you get them, is same way you lose yours, so. Thanks, thanks. Don't take it if you can't dish it now. It's actually for real. Right. You believe you release, uh, do you believe in a relationship, you believe, not, you believe in 90% of the relationship, you remove sex from it. You believe you're getting nothing out of it? If, you, if not a 90% of the relationship, you remove sex from it. Depression? Yeah, because I feel like the first thing people want to do is have sex. Y'all don't even have, y'all don't even have, no one else have to be friends now. Y'all don't want, no one wants to be like, hey, Get to know me. Y'all just want to start sticking. Might want to actually have a conversation with me so we know where we're going from here. But also, if you don't set boundaries, you're never going to be able to go past sex. That's all you're going to know. And then it's going to get boring after a while. What if sex stops? Then it's like, oh, she don't ever touch me. He don't ever. Now it's, I don't want to be with you because all we do is have sex and we don't talk about anything. And bills are important. There's money, finances, children, jobs. Like, what are we doing here? Right, right, right. Uh, but like, okay, they say you know when when is like a good time to talk about sex though? When when do you feel like it's like most comfortable to talk about sex? By day three, depending on how far y'all get along. Because honestly, if the person is expecting that already, they might as well say, "Where are we going from here?" Set intentions from the beginning, so no one's playing. I'm not playing you. I don't want to do that, and you're not playing me. If you just want to vibe and do that, like I'm letting you know, I'm not down for that. I'm not doing that until we have a relationship at this point. You you need to figure out which one to be. If I'm not the one for you, that's okay. God bless the chick who is. Shout out to you. Shout out to her. Right, 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 right. Like that. Mm -hmm. You believe if you remove uh, money and success from a relationship, you believe like 90% of women won't see a reason to be in a relationship? I'm going to say 50-50 because 50% of women, women who make it on their own don't need you. Women who need you and rely on you for that, of course, they're going to fill away, and it's going to be a problem. But there are women out there who don't care about your money because they have their own. they got savings accounts, trust set up, all of this. But it depends on what woman you're talking to as well. Because if so-and-so don't got nothing, of course, she's going to expect you to come with everything and then some. Then after that fails or you lose your job, she's going to be like, now what I got to do? I got to find someone else who can provide how you provide it. Versus a woman who already has it, she don't have to be stressing you. You're here for the little things and being around me to be around me, quality time, shit like that. Different. Yeah. You feel like you are you willing to compete for a man that you want? No, no, I'm not. Me personally, no. no. And why not? Because I don't compete with females over nobody. And what's meant to find me will always be mine. Like what's meant to be mine will always find me. That's how I feel. That's how I think. But to those who compete, shout out to y'all. May the best woman win. Right, right, right. I understand. Hey. Okay. Okay. Okay, you say you in the competition. You say you in the class of young. I, I feel you. I feel you on that. I feel you. I feel you. Now, do you believe men should avoid these five type of women? Feminists, women with daddy issues, single mothers, women looking to be rescued, and women that are broke and deeply in debt. 
I feel like, like no one should be looked over, avoided or anything, just because like sometimes people, the person for you is supposed to help you heal those areas of your life. And if you bypass them, you'll never know, you know? It's like mm. past the last row of oranges and you they look good, but you're like, nah, you walk past them and someone else snatches them up when you go back to get them. You miss your chance, you know? You never know. And yeah. I feel like all those women deserve love, no matter what they are. I'm one of those women, so shout out to me. But like, which, yeah. Which woman you are out of those? I'm a single mom. That's crazy. I'm a single mom, but yeah. Hey, to each his own, you know. But I thought. Like, did you offend? Because I ain't trying to offend you or anything. But you know. I'm not. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Why, why aren't single mothers marrying their baby fathers though? Mine don't exist, so I don't know. But shout out to those women. Maybe you because say, the, say hurt. the pain hurt them. Getting left to take care of a child on your own is hard, but you know. But I'm saying, why you not? Why? Why you? You had to go back and do it over again. Was you the married before you carried? No, I wouldn't even have sex with them. Exactly. Mm. But are y'all uh, are y'all are y'all co-parenting right now? Mm, no, no, definitely no. Y'all have sex together? No, I don't, I don't have sex with anybody. <laughs> but when I found out I was pregnant with my child, that man chose to step away. That's his choice. Now I'm here, mind my business, being a great mother for my child. Okay. How old your child is? Six. Okay. 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 Uh, what's your definition of a high value man? Honestly, a man who could teach you something. Strong mentally, physically. Can acquire, can do more than just go outside and work. Because that's not enough. There's a house to be taken care of. And my thing is with the person, I feel like we should both be able to do everything the same. Cook, clean. What if one day I'm depressed and I don't want to take care of it? You going to feed the kids or the kids going to start tonight? Because I'm cuddled up in the bed. Like, figure it out. Honestly, someone who is always willing to do more if I need it. A man who loves family, yeah. Right. I mean, respect for me and other women around me, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not to be finances. I think everybody thinks finances is the biggest thing on the planet. But the happiest people are homeless, chilling. Like I don't believe that. I, I don't believe that. That rhetoric right there. That is. That's a nuance right there. I don't. I don't believe that nuance about homeless people are real happy. But uh, okay, we can move on to the next one. Well, do you believe these five things right here are stopping women from getting a high value man, being promiscuous, getting tattoos, being a single mother, and getting a, getting obese and being unpleasant and disagreeable? Mm -hmm. Nah, I don't think so. Okay, and why? So why why you disagree with it? I don't think all those are reasons, but I also I don't I don't know. I feel like. It depends on who you're talking to, because like I said, everything's perspective. So, someone you talk to might be like, "Oh, those are reasons why I would never talk to a woman." But the same reason you won't talk to her, someone else will. Yeah, it's all a mindset thing, perspective heavy. So it just depends. Why? Right, right, right. Do you date men with kids? I have. I've talked to men with kids. I mean, I will. Okay. Okay. Uh, and uh, and being a single mother, though. Uh. Like, what's, what's the hardest part about being a single mother and trying to date? And find, are you dating to find a husband or are you just dating for a good time? Personally, I'm dating to find a husband eventually. But right now, I'm dating to live my life because I'm working on my child, my finances, and myself right now. So, I don't need a man. But it sounds good. Um, but also, I feel like you can't bring everybody around your child either. So, I'm cool with just... Oh, your getting... background? What is that noise in your background? That's your TV or something? No, it's a pen. Oh. But yeah, with but like I'm the goal is marriage, but dating to vibe and see how it goes for now is what it is. Because we're not forcing it. So and, do you? A single biggest problem, I think, the thing for being a single mom is just all the work it takes. People just think it's dressing up a child every day. It's not real work. You got to feed them, clean them, make sure they're good. School. If something happens at school, you got to leave work to go take care of them and all of that. Yeah, it's not easy, but it's it's a job. Right, right. Do you prefer to date men with children, or you prefer to date men without children? I feel like probably date them. You which one? I can't hear. They'll know what it's like to have children already, so you already know. Like, okay, he knows I got a busy schedule because I have a child to take care of. He has children to pick up from daycare, school, whatever. So, but also single men don't mind it either. 
So it's not either way, honestly. So you saying? So I, I didn't hear the first part. You said you saying you would prefer to date men with children. I, mean, I don't have a preference either or for me, but if he has children, he knows what it's like to be a parent versus a man who doesn't understand that you have priority. Right. Priorities. Do you do you think? Uh, okay. Okay. Cool. Now, do you feel like being the same? Now, do you think the chances of you finding a man that you won't be the single mother is high or low? Chances of me finding what is high or low? Do you feel, you feel like being a single mother, the chances of finding a man that you want are higher or low since you're a mother? They could be high, they could be low. Hey, I'm going to say high for me. I don't know. Okay. Okay. That's cool. That's, that's cool right there. That's cool. Uh, what makes you ready to be a wife, though? Honestly, don't care about being married like that. But when when the time comes, I know that I will be able to take care of my home, mm -hmm. my business, my child, and my man. Okay. Honestly, marriage isn't the goal anymore. It once was, but now it really isn't. I just want to be happy, peaceful, and travel the world. That's the goal. But having a great life with someone to share with will be nice. Okay, 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 okay. And how you, uh, a lot of women say, uh, they want to be treated like queens and treat men like kings. So, what's your definition of a man treating you like a queen? I feel like mainly for to now is chivalry, opening doors still, making sure I'm good, checking in on me, checking, reassuring me, finding reassurance, you know, just being here when I need it. That's what queen treatment is. Being respected, being seen by the man I'm dating or being with. That's really it. Okay. How, you, how do you treat a man like a king? <laughs> uh, honestly, showing him that he matters most and he's the only person around me. I don't care if there's a thousand famous men in the room right now. I only see you. That's the difference between me and a lot of women. I'm not over like, oh, let's go get all the pictures. Let's go see so-and-so. No, what's right in front of me is the best thing for me. So I'm going to make sure they are taken care of mentally, physically. Mainly being a stress reliever for a man is what he needs. Mm. Work is already hard. Life is already hard. You go to work, come home. Who wants to be nagged at all the time? Who wants to be irritated as soon as they walk into the door? I want you to come home. It smells good. It feels good. It's clean. You vibing. We vibing. You know, a little massage, dinner. Let's go chill, watch a movie, read a book, whatever we do, and then go to bed. After we talk about the day, honestly, I feel like relationships are harder than we make them. But, like, hey. Right, right. Okay. Okay. You, you rather be the chase or rather be the catch? At this point, chase. I'm not chasing people. Okay. Do you feel like you're the prize? Do I feel like I'm what? Do you feel like you're the prize? No, I feel like I'm me. Okay. Okay. I <laughs> said you. Okay. So who you feel like a prize in a relationship? You or the man? Both of us. Okay. Okay. Do you believe uh you believe the more attractive a woman, the more likely is she to reject the man and have more options? <laughs> I'm gonna say yeah, because you can see it every day. But hey, that's is it? Girl. It's gonna attract other people, like. Right, and you would just would you agree that the more money and success a man has, the more likely he is to have more females and more dating options. I feel like yes and no because people could see it as that, but in real life, a lot of the men that are the most good looking out here are the most boring. They're chill. They're at home. They're not worried. You're seeking women. Okay. I know. Who don't so that's why I'm saying uh, not saying that but yeah women as well though like you can be gorgeous is all get out and people are so like this girl's at home chilling every day she's a homebody she shouldn't even go outside but she could step outside she just doesn't right. you want to give everybody a 360 say that again no I, I don't you... <laughs> I'm not bad I'm cool I feel you I feel you that's cool that's cool that's cool uh what's the nastiest thing you wanted to do with a guy, but you ain't had a chance to. I do everything I want to do, usually. I never been, I've never. been told no once, so I mean, it yeah. I have, they're really nasty to people is probably some weird shit, so I don't know. I don't think I have anything that I wanted to do that I haven't. Yeah. Uh, no, no crazy fantasies? No dark, twisted fantasies? 
Um, I look you want to do B BDSM with somebody, and then I also want to like do like little like we go out in public, but we act like strangers, and then catch a vibe, and then go outside and handle our business. But yeah. And you said a guy turned you down, told you no. Like what? What you asked, and he said no to. That's one time. It wasn't a big deal, but like it was the first time I ever heard no. So I was like, oh, okay. Okay. Did it, did it like break your heart or break your spirits or what? Nah, it hit me a little bit, but then I still cuddled and went to bed with him, so it wasn't a big deal. But like, hey. So women, so women yeah, twerk. Mm -hmm. So women twerk around the kids. Definitely not. Because okay. <laughs> kids are very malleable. They learn everything. They see everything. They hear everything. They repeat everything, and they do everything that they see. No. Do you have sex with your child at the house? In the house, sleep? Yeah. Have I? I have one. I have ever, yes. But when she's up or running around, hell no. Oh, okay. So you creep them in at night? No, I don't do all that. I just don't have sex with my child. Like, I'm not letting my child run around the house and then the door's unlocked or something. I don't. Risky, I don't do all that. Okay. So you let them spend the night or they got to go? No, I'm in the stay the night. I don't, I don't be giving. No, nah, if we want something to be done, it's going to be done probably at a hotel or something. I'm not trying to have people around my child. I feel you. Respect. Respect. I think I like that move. Like, I read a female. Yeah, nah. I think they're just messy. They like, yeah, it seems like your kid there. Especially if you're not in a relationship with this man it's long just term. Huh? It's an easier setup to just meet you where I have a day out and we can just hang out and meet and then go. After that's where we spend the night, yeah, no, because yeah. I try home safe sleep. I'll mind my business and I'll be back in the morning before she gets up. For sure, for sure. Like, when we been with the kids, there, that's like that's just nasty behavior. Like, that ain't your husband or a man or whatever, like your man, man. Like, nah, I just, I just think it's nasty. But, uh, hey man, I appreciate you coming by. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, you got any questions, anything? You ask me? Um, no, but thanks for having me. Okay, cool, cool. Good luck with all of your endeavors and shout out to you. Shout out to the live. Hey, for sure, for sure. So it's going on my YouTube channel, so yeah.